So I finally received my power bank case uh, which has an SDMMC slot in it. So as you all know my iPhone is just 16 GB and after 15 minutes of shooting a video it's full and I love using my iPhone a lot. So what I did is that I ordered this case off eBay. So the case has got a 5000 mHA battery in it plus it's got an SD MMC slot in it so I can actually put in a 128 GB SD card inside and then my iPhone is going to be 16 GB plus it's going to have 128 GB expandable memory with it. So I'm going to be opening the box for you guys. Let's go have a look at it. Not sure guys, the packaging looks really... <laughs> just a brown pack. Okay, let's find the scissors for us. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, goody. So that does have a case. So I was wondering how come they sent me something without a proper packing. Packing looks nice. I mean, the packing in which they shipped it is really good because he's got all bubble wrap inside over here. Plus, the casing looks nice. Uh, just that it is a little bit deceptive when you look at it first. There it is. iPhone 6s or iPhone 6 which is just 16 GB. No need to throw away. You can use this thing to expand your memory and your battery backup. Have a look at the specs. This is called a OTG battery back case. It's for the iPhone 6 Plus or 6S Plus. Uh, it's got an aluminium alloy frame, supposed to be a premium grade, push and pull design, so it's easy to plug and play. It's got a replaceable TF memory card. You can go up to 128 GB. Uh, you can use it as a power bank. Uh, it's got one. It's got a 3200 3, mAh backup power in it. The battery capacity is 3200 mAh. So basically, it's going to double your life. Sorry guys if I said 5000 Sunday before. So I think what the app does is it allows you to move the data between your iPhone's memory and the app. So that way your iPhone memory is always free and everything is stored in the, uh, on the memory card. So anyway, as long as I get 128 GB memory, which I can use, I'm quite happy. And time to rip it open. Let's get it off the box. Let's it come off. There you go. Nice. It's got a nice feel to it though. I mean, when I touch it, it's, it's really nice feels very soft like a suede leather and I wonder where the slot for the MMC is well here, here you go that's the MMC slot so you can put in your memory card over there and here are the instructions on how you need to slot it in okay put the memory card here okay so now let me go and get a memory card so that we can try this out so I've got all the components. So now that we have the power case out of the cover, let's get it fixed uh, on the iPhone. So it's quite simple. There's a frame, out of frame over here. Uh, this is an aluminium brush finished frame. Looks really nice. Uh, let me see if I can focus this a little bit for you guys. Okay, so now let's get the power bank case fixed to the iPhone 6s plus over here so the first thing that I'm going to do is that I had picked up uh, it's a micro SD card which is XC1 class 10 so this is a ultra high speed card that I'm going to be using so the 
first thing that you would want to do is take your SD card. This card costed me 3500 at the Samsung authorized reseller. So I took the 128 GB, the fastest card available. Next thing that I do is that I'm going to plug it into the slot that they give. Oh, this is the wrong way. So you plug it into the slot. It's, it's an easy fit. Just need to, you'll hear a click and that means the memory card's in. So once you've slotted the memory card, what you would do is that next thing that we would do is put the frame on the iPhone. So you need to make sure that the frame is correctly done. So this is the volume button. So on this side of the iPhone, I have my volume button. So this is how I'm going to put the frame on it. Once I put the frame, I need to turn around the iPhone along with the frame. And then we take our power bank case with the MMC adapter. We need to put it up this way. And basically there are guide rails over here. So if you look at this, this is a guide rail that's there over here. So you just need to put this in. And, then, and so there are rails here on the side. So what we would want to do is put them together like this. Oops. and then slide them in once it slides in you have this space here this is where it slots in so the first thing that you will notice is that my iphone is doubled in size right now that's primarily because of the power bank case that we have put in you can see the depth over here so i'm okay with it because now i get 3200 mha which is a built-in battery of the iphone 6s plus and in addition, I have my power bank case, which is another 3200 mAh. So typically I've doubled my battery backup life. I've increased my storage from 16 GB to 128 GB. Hey guys, thank you for watching my blog. If you're not subscribed yet, bang, click on the subscribe button. It's right there. If you want to watch the last two videos that I've uploaded, I put them up here and here. And of course, my favorite playlist, the Superbike Weekend, it's right up here. You can check that out. Don't forget to smash the like button on the way out.